Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros. We always record this Sunday night show on Friday afternoon so we can get uh, rocked. Um, these are always the weird ones to me. These are always the fun ones and the strange ones. And there's a lot of like last second news articles that pop up. We were like, I wonder what the hell that's all about. Uh, today's was Tulsi Gabbard. Well, it's not the only one from today. There's actually... There's a, there's a bunch, but this that Tulsi Gabbard was the biggest. I don't think it's the biggest, but we'll get to it. Really? Yeah. So I, I woke up to this, that Tulsi Gabbard had uh, uh, brought a bill together uh, to protect women's sports by preserving the gender divide. Were you just knocking on the microphone to make sure it worked? Yeah. No. It's my, my headphones are a little low, but it's fine. Um... Uh, why no, did she no, do? Nope. Why did she do this? Why did Tulsi Gabbard do that? Uh, you know? That's a good question. I mean, she's on her way out of public service now. She's not running. I don't. I don't think she ran for re-election, right? I don't. I don't know. I, isn't isn't she in no. Uh, UAE? No, I'm pretty sure that uh, that she's leaving uh, the, the state of UAE. Well, I don't know if she's leaving the state, but I'm pretty sure she she didn't run for re-election. I could be wrong. You want to check that out, Rob? Yeah, hot Bob. Um, <clears throat> look at look up Tulsi Gabbard and see if she's leaving UAE. Uh, it looks like Hawaii Democrat, but man, fucking. Uh, ah, yeah, good luck. Uh, it's Kahili. <laughs> Kahili wins yeah. to succeed Gabbard in U.S. House. I speak fluent Hawaiian. That's, yeah, but she that's didn't. Kai Kahili. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't lose. You no, know, Tol- yeah, Tulsi she, didn't run at she all. She vacated right? it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. She just bounced. Yeah, she, so I mean, that's, Tulsi had shit to do, man. You know, I guess uh, you know it is what it is. Uh, Nye, uh, uh, so in August. Federal Judge uh, David Nye in Idaho cited a, the Supreme Court decision uh, when he struck down the state's first in the in the nation law prohibiting transgender girls from playing on women's athletic teams. Now, transgender girls is a euphemism for a man that that, that no longer has a penis. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so it's got lopped st- off. Still, biologically speaking, a man. Gender dysphoria does not make you biologically the opposite sex. It means that your brain is wired incorrectly. And yeah, if you want to say that that's something that should be handled by uh, gender reassignment surgery, I'm fine with the logic behind that, right? Mm-hmm. Allowing those people that have more muscle mass and bone density, however, to compete against women who don't have that is stupid. And everybody agrees, I think. Everybody looks at that and is like, mm. I mean, imagine a scenario where the most liberal people that exist all of a sudden have children who are pretty good and competitive in athletics, uh-huh. and then all of a sudden uh, people with fucking mustaches start crushing their their female teams in soccer you know what i mean Uh, obviously they're going to have a complaint about it it's when it hits home and this is this betrays the uh the uh absolute hypocrisy of both sides of the aisle whenever something uh doesn't affect me i don't really give a shit if it's your constitutional right or not you know what i mean if it's gross or something i don't care but that's gross man i don't care about that yeah well when you say you don't care about something you should always err on the side of allowing people to do what the fuck they want right and i'm good with that however when it comes to competition, biology is the name of the game, right? So anyways, uh, Justice, or uh, sorry, Nye wrote in the argument this, quote, other transgender women are not excluded from school sports because they can simply play on the men's team um, is analogous to claiming homosexual individuals are not prevented from marrying under statute preventing same-sex marriage because lesbians and gays could marry someone of a different sex. No, it's not. Not even close to the same, you stupid fuck, because there's no competition between married couples. Right. right? This is not. There is there, though. There isn't. There isn't. No. You know. There's no event. There's no event where uh, a, a gay couple is competing against a straight couple in life somewhere unless it's a fucking game show or something. Uh, hey man, you know what I mean? That you just described uh, the the longest race, no. the amazing race. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah. Either way, it's no. it's long and amazing. <laughs> the heterosexual couple is totally fucked on that abso- obstacle course if they come up against a gay couple. Yes. Well, if it's two gay men, for they sure. They get rocked, right? man. Yeah. They get rocked in yeah. that all the time, but. Uh, so here's what, um, here's what Gabbard had to say. She said in a statement that Title, uh, Title IX protections, Title IX, by the way, is, the, uh, is part of the U.S. code that protects uh, sex as a class, right? Uh-huh. You, can't, you can't allow, are you, uh, as a business, you can't not hire somebody just because it's a woman. Uh, as an as a athletic team, you can't deny them, just go so on and so forth. It also provided a lot of scholarships for uh, varsity and non-varsity female sports and colleges to, to give them uh, full rides and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so 
Gabbard says uh, that the protections, quote, led to a generational shift that impacted countless women, creating life-changing opportunities for girls and women that never existed before. Now, that is accurate. Uh, she also said that uh, the law is, quote, being weakened by some states who are misinterpreting Title IX, creating uncertainty, undue hardship, and lost opportunities for female athletes. Our legislation protects Title IX's original intent, which was based on the, the general biological distinction between men and women athletes based on sex. Now, that's a very good point. And it's, if, you, if you map this on to race as well, imagine, if you will, sure, a white person who has, I don't know, ethnic dysphoria? I don't know what that would be called. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I, had, I had that for a race, few. I had it for a couple of years race, in middle school. Race dysphoria, yeah. transracial, I think is the. Trans- well, that would be the implicit act of becoming transracial, right? But the right. the symptom would be called whatever the fuck we're talking about here. Right. So imagine, racial disassociation, maybe. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, I, I, imagine, I, I had it in middle school for a couple of years. Yeah. Imagine you're in that scenario. Like, what human beings on earth would accept that? That you could fucking. I don't know, get some kind of surgery to inject melanin in your skin, which you can get, by the way. You can yeah. get melanin injected in your yeah, skin yeah. to turn you completely black so that you are eligible for something that black people are eligible for. Right. People would lose their fucking minds. Yes. They would lose their minds if that were fucking happening. So, but this is okay somehow. Like we're, we're, we are systematically allowing people to disenfranchise women in, in the United States, and the left is the one driving it. Now, that's really funny to me. I mean, just the irony and the stupidity behind that. And how completely blind and myopic these fucking dum dums are makes me sad for the people involved, but it makes me happy to see just how stupid they are. Yeah, I woke up to this, and when I saw it, I, I thought the same thing. And I know Rogan is took, he's taken a lot of heat in the past for it, uh, of his stance on this mm-hmm. about how, hey man, they're just the bone structure and everything is so fucking different, yeah. dude. There's no way they should be competing. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, men and women against each other in, in the same sports. And uh, I, I thought we were all on the same page. And then, no. Uh, it turns out Tulsi Gabbard was just getting crushed today for this. And um, there's a, there a lot of uh, phrases being thrown out here. They called her a turf, Giorgio. Um, I, you're our go-to guy for all the, the sex uh, lettering and lingo that goes on with it. I, I guess we're calling it lettering. Acronyms, science words, words, words. Turf? You asked me about what turf is? Yeah, what's a turf? It's T E R F. They were calling her Trans turf. Trans exclusionary radical feminist. Okay, and then what does that mean exactly? So that means you know you you're really about this radical feminism. Mm-hmm. You really want to topple this patriarchy. Yeah, but not official women can come with you. Okay, great. So who is who's who's in that group that can come with them? Uh, if you were born with a uh, certain genitalia? Ah. Yes. So dudes? No. Oh, it's just pussies, huh? Yeah. Okay. So All right. just, just the whoop, whoop. Yeah, just, uh, just the pussies. Um, man. But uh, yeah, so I, I was reading through these comments on Twitter, and I mean, she's been getting crushed for this all day yeah basically um, the the turfs don't want them speaking for issues that are specifically women only huh my god man Welp, what are you gonna do man yeah Shit. so I, I guess that's this is where the phrase intersectional feminist comes from by the way because i've never uh, even heard that either a lot of people have had a lot of uh women in hollywood especially in politics as well have had issues with this in the past tina fey being one of them um uh she gets hammered a lot and a lot of a lot of white women in hollywood get hammered a lot for Feminism only mattering for white women, right? Mm-hmm. Or white suburban women, or, uh, or, or I don't know what you would call them, cisgendered women, not, not, uh, not gay women or not, uh, not transgendered women. That's the complaint. Okay. So you're called, if you agree with all that, you are called an intersectional feminist, which means you care about all women, even if they're not women. Right? Yeah. A pretty broad definition of the word woman. I suppose, but hey, you know what? It's 2020. Who cares? I don't yeah. really, I don't really care about that. What do, was, what, what, do what you want in your fucking life and on all that stuff. And if it makes my health insurance premiums go up a bit, I don't really care about that that much, to be honest. What I do care about though is when your behavior is negatively affecting other people, and you should care about that also. If you're a human being out there and you feel like you should be able to compete amongst uh, a, a group that is weak, like physically weaker than you. 
simply because of how you feel inside and you don't see how that uh, uh, leads to problematic behaviors. You don't see how it disenfranchises these women's ability to compete against one another, then you're kind of a fucking asshole, to be honest. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. Like if you, it's, 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 what if Jordan just went down to the playground and just dominated everybody? People, what, people, what, what would, does he identify people, as? People, people would eventually stop going. Yeah. They would stop going to that court. <laughs> like if Jordan just showed up and acted like Jordan, screaming at people and calling them out and playing hard nosed basketball and dunking on people because he's so much better than them, they would just stop. Right. And that would be, a reasonable thing to do they would go somewhere else so maybe that's what needs to happen maybe all these females instead of kneeling on fields because they think america is uh is is somehow fascist and 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 somehow trump is a nazi i'm talking to you megan rapino or whatever your stupid fuck rapino god what a piece of shit she is Uh, All, uh, all the fucking all the clout she has and all the media coverage and all this shit. And she uses it to whine about her first world problems instead of actually helping people. You are a cunt and you need to shut the fuck up. Uh, The only problem I have with this bill that that she's introducing here is it's only blocking males from competing in women's sports. Um, And it's not, it's not stopping uh, women from competing in men's sports. And I can't figure out why, Uh, because that's what I really want to see. Oh, they're technically allowed to keep, Compete in male sports now. <laughs> Why don't they? I think they try. Strange. Strange, isn't it? Um, that it's only just blocking males in this one. Uh, that should be your answer right there. Like, it, hey, we've got it all solved. Uh, that's the reason why we're introducing a bill like this is because there's no way women are going to try to compete in a men's <clears throat> sports, trans or whatever, right? It's yeah. just not going to happen. No, it would be funny. Yeah, it'd be great. To be honest, I, yeah. would, I would love to see it. Because we did actually see it recently. We saw a woman uh, kick off in a Division One college football game. And yep. Well, they tried it at Mizzou. The kick went seven yards. The, uh, uh, they, they, did they try it at Mizzou? Mizzou didn't try it. No, no. The women's – well, when I was – I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> the women's soccer team challenged uh, two golfers, two wrestlers, and three track runners to a six-on-six game, and we beat them 17-4. to four. No shit. Yeah, they the, were Big 12 the, champions that year. The women's national team, That's which funny. is you know, used as a, the gold standard for female athletic competition. Correct, and yeah. The, the, the statement is made all the time that the women's team is way better than the men's team. Well, no, it's not true. They perform better against their competition than the men's team do, sure. But if you match those two teams up, the women would lose by double digits yeah. every single time. They, yeah. played a fucking, they played a fucking 16 and under team. Yep, they lose to the high schoolers all the time. And got fucking beaten, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, just shut the fuck up about it. Why do we have to pretend? Is it, does it really make you feel that bad about yourself as a woman that you're not a man? That you're not, I mean, it, this is how it is. We're bigger and stronger. That's, it's not, it doesn't make us better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's, oh my God, dude. Imagine being that frail. Everybody talks about the, 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 male, the fragile male ego and shit. You're trying to fucking take masculinity completely away from us because it threatens you so much and i'm fragile shut the fuck up <laughs> jesus christ that is the dumbest shit i've ever heard in my goddamn life and anybody that says that is retarded i would like to go see uh, a bunch of dudes play in the wnba just for a week just to see what just to see well, how we saw it, it with be. joanna man we right? did, man, and that movie uh didn't get the critical can acclaim imagine, it deserves can you imagine you know? that movie coming out now Oh, my God. Fucking hilarious. Yeah. If it came out now. <laughs> Not a chance would they allow that shit. Not one chance. Not no. One chance. They use a lot of duct tape in that movie, too. A lot of duct tape. Keep that fucking Pinor. Yeah. Back. You got you to gotta tuck it up there. Gotta- here's, uh, here's something that might. I, I've debated on whether or not to say this or not. Go ahead. Why? What are you, what are you uh, holding back for today? Do you think uh, Tulsi Gabbard doing this is, is so is like Black Rifle in less or more trouble now? Like, is that, is that good enough for you guys out there? What's that? that, that so Evan donated to Tulsi for the reasons we've already explained, because he, <laughs> he wanted her to get into the bait and light up uh, Kamala Harris, right? Which is exactly what happened, by the way, not to toot Evan's horn, but uh, uh, does this buy back some stuff? Now that she's doing stuff that makes sense, is it okay now? Or is it still, is it still you guys are fucking stupid. I think people were pissed that he didn't donate to Trump. Why would you donate to fucking Donald Trump? He lost. Come on. He he didn't, Donald Trump didn't lose because he didn't have enough money. This is not true. He has, he's got billions of his own dollars. He f- mostly funded his own goddamn campaign. That is, if, you're, if you're mad that he didn't donate to Trump when Trump specifically said 
that he would finance his own campaign, then that's kind of stupid. You're just look, you're looking for reasons to be upset about things. Anyways, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, this makes sense to me. Yeah, uh, and with this, the only, the, I guess the, the only serious question I have on this is legally because she's leaving office mm-hmm. and it'll be, I'm assuming it's January the same time as, as the inauguration. Mm-hmm. What happens with a bill like this when the person that, that introduces it just leaves? Does it keep going? Or? Well, the other co-sponsor is, um, oh, man, this is a weird name. It's a Republican, Representative Mark Wayne Mullen. Mark Wayne is one word. Ah, Never you don't say. heard of that in my fucking life Mark, before. Is it Mark Wayne or Mark Wayne? It's the word Mark and the word Wayne. And they're smashed together. So, however you would pronounce Based that. Based on his picture, it's, ah. it's Mark Wine. Mark Wine. Not Mark Wine. Mark Wine Mullen. Yeah. Yeah. He looks, uh, he looks super, super honky. I just come down off his old rig. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Look at that, dude. Look at that guy. He fucks. He's from Oklahoma, so. Is he? Yeah. Uh, pop that picture down. Uh, go down one more, Hot Bob. Um, yeah, that one right there. Yeah. Blast that one up full screen. Look at the look at the snark on that guy. He needs to grow that beard back. Look at that snark. Nose is too big to not have a beard, my man. I know nah, that. I know that. Fine. Know that life, my own self. <laughs> Maybe he can't grow a beard, man. No, he's, some of a, us can't. There's a picture of him with a beard. Oh, really? Yeah. Was the beard his wife? Uh, I'm kidding. Could be. He's, kidding. It's a no, Friday. It's look, he looks. You know? He looks good with the beard. Eh, he looks tough. It he looks, looks mean. thin on the sides. No, it's a, it's, he's just got it too trimmed. He needs to grow a grizzly beard. Yeah, be a fucking man. Mark Wayne. Uh, if you have a name like Mark Wayne, though, dude, you should have a, a pickup truck full of dead squirrels in the back. I mean, it sounds like a serial killer name. Yeah, uh, just, Mark Wayne. Yeah, but anyway, he's the uh, other sponsor. I don't know if he's he's not an outgoing rep. He's going to still be there, so I okay. imagine he'll keep it going forward. But yeah. What's well, cool. Where's he from, Oklahoma? Because yeah. the, the issue is, I, I know it happened in Texas a lot. You guys are from down here. Uh, wasn't it happening all the time, or still is happening in, in a, a high school track for women um, in Texas, that all those videos were of uh, dudes just blowing those chicks away in Texas track um, in high school? I, I say we move it to the UFC. Yes. Let's start letting men fight women, and then we can see. Yeah, dude. Let's get uh, Nunez in there against, yeah. uh, I don't know. John Jones? John Jones. See what happens. <laughs> What? They're the two best in, in their perspective uh, mm-hmm. genders. Let's see him go at it and see what happens there. Do you think uh, Khabib would fight Amanda Nunez? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do, actually. I mean, they're not that far apart in weight, right? I bet you women f- in Russia fight all the what's, time. What's Nunez? Like 125 or some shit? Yeah. Yeah. She, no. She, well, I think she's 135. I think I mean, I that's her weight. That's her walking around weight, though, right? Doesn't she fight at one at a lower weight? I've what? started asking people what their baby weight was. So uh, I didn't find women competing in men. I mean, men competing in women, but I did okay. find something uh, almost as crazy. Um, there's a Texas wrestler, Mac Bags, Bags, whatever. Uh, oh, I bo- remember this guy. A, that's bo- right. Born a yes. woman, transitioning to be a man, taking testosterone, but because of Texas rules, can only compete against women. But is in wrestling and won a couple of state championships, but is allowed to take test, low level testosterone injections. Yeah. So steroids. I just absolutely beefing these women, dude. Okay. Just absolutely so, crushing them. So Amanda Nunez fights at 145 and 135. I was and, correct. And uh, Khabib fights at 155. So they're not that far apart. Let's get this going, man. He'd come down 10 pounds. I don't, for think, that. I don't know if he can go all the way down to 135. Uh, he can go down to 145, 145 probably. Maybe, yeah, maybe know. due to the catch weight then, you know? Yeah. There is no absolute way on this God's green earth <laughs> that Khabib is making 145. <laughs> no, he wouldn't make 145. She could, she probably walks around at uh, 160 though, right? So she just wouldn't lose that much weight. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. I, I'm, I'm I, she, on I would pay no, any amount of money to see that. Happen. If she's cutting to 145 and 135 respectively, she probably walks around at 160, right? You would think. Again, I can't comment. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, Shia LaBeouf's fighting girls these days, so uh, yeah. anything is Allegedly. possible. Dude. Not yeah. necessarily Allegedly. in the ring, though. It's mostly at home. Yeah. <laughs> right? What if, you, what if you brought a girl home uh, on your first date and the, your whole house was like WWE themed? Right? <laughs> it's like the, the, there's walls, but right inside there's a room. It's like, what's that ring for? You're like, oh, that's for later. It's for later. That's for you. Yeah. And yeah. there's a ref standing by. Because uh, like, we're, I, we're going to kick the shit out of you. Every later. girl I date, I fucking fight first just to make sure she's not a pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think that's an important thing to know about somebody. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Shia LaBeouf is getting sued today. 
um, for a, I guess, what they're, they're calling it. I mean, how do you get sued for sexual battery? I thought you'd just report that to the police. But this is an actual lawsuit mm. uh, by, her girl, by his ex-girlfriend, FKA Twigs. Um, you a big fan, Giorgio, of, uh, of FKA Twigs? Is that her real name? I think she's a rapper. Oh, wow. Um, she's a musician. And right? what does FKA stand for? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I think she's relatively famous. Ooh. Yeah, she's, she's famous. Um, Look I, up what FKA stands for. I'm, now I've got to know. Fucking king, kings, she, assholes. She went kind of hard on the uh, microblading there. She may want to calm down on that shit. Well, she can do whatever she, she wants. Went, but uh, yeah, Formerly so, known as. Oh, that's it? That's it. Formerly known as Twig. So why not just uh, steal everything from Prince? Yeah. He's formerly dead, known for as Christ's sake. Leave Twigs. So she was formerly known as Twigs, but she's going by that. And, you know, then she's still known as Twigs, uh, which is weird, but I, I definitely dig it. Um, this is exactly who I see him with, uh, but it says here that uh, in the lawsuits, she's claiming that he was physically abusing her, tormenting her, and gave her an STD. Um, well, I don't know if you can sue somebody for that unless you're suing Usher. He's been sued for giving people herpes a lot, but you have, yeah. to, you have to be able to prove that they knew it ahead of time. This, um, one, this one gets weirder, Dan. And, and Shia LaBeouf <laughs> probably does not get <laughs> tested for STDs. No, right? no. This one gets so much weirder, by the way. Uh, she also claims that Shia once slammed her against a car and attempted to strangle her. All right, par for the course. I can see him getting rocked and doing that. That's fine. She also claims that while they were driving, he pulled out a pistol um, and uh, threatened her with it and said, <laughs> I've killed stray dogs before because I wanted to know what it felt like to take a life. Um, and he was apparently, he said he did it because he was getting in the mindset of a killer for a movie. Uh, she also claims that he was wildly jealous and he would literally count the number of kisses she gave him in any given day and then would berate her if she fell short of the target on the following days. Which, you know, look. Daddy needs his loving. Daddy needs love. I don't really see um, something wrong with that. She says he was also paranoid. And he would sleep with guns because he was afraid gang members were coming for him on a nightly basis. Did he do any movies about gang members? He or did, yes. Uh, the, the last one. Pull up the picture, Hot Bob, and put it full screen where he got, uh, he was playing a cholo. He played a Mexican, and, and people were real pissed uh, about it. There you go. So there is a, a shot of him shirtless. Yeah, go down uh, with the tattoos on. He's sitting in the chair. There you go. Pop, pop that one up full screen here. Um, so in this movie, yeah, you, you, can, you can go ahead and put that uh, full screen up there. Uh, in this movie, he was playing this like cholo gangster. Mm -hmm. And that tattoo that is across his whole shit down there is real. And he went full method and got the tattoo for that. Wow. So He, uh, he pulled a tooth out for Fury as well. Ah, his you don't say. His character did not require it. He just thought it'd be f cool. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of wow. people. A lot of people do that. So there's this. No. There's this uh, fucking show on Showtime right now with uh, Ethan Hawke. Um, it's a weird one, dude. Called like God Sing Bird or something like that. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, where he plays John Brown. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyways, um, he he said in an interview, he was like, yeah, you know, uh, he wore a lot of heavy coats, and I wanted to feel the weight of them, so I I, I would put forty pounds of weight in my pockets like and do all the scenes with this uh 40 pounds of weight in his his jacket pockets for that because he felt that uh john smith was always weighed down by something else which is the dumbest shit of all time wow well so uh <laughs> so he's so is shia labeouf shooting dogs he's, yeah he's yeah i believe it basically just sean penn right yeah all right cool yeah <laughs> so we can just move on then <laughs> We don't need another one of these. We did this already. That's a sweet flex. Imagine driving down to like Staples Center to go see like the Clippers game or something. And then he's a just... much better actor than Sean. Penn. I think Sean Penn is a ridiculously uh, uh, terrible actor. All, all, like what? He, he's won awards for these. Fu he is the worst. He's, what you, I, he's I've pretty been, goddamn. He's good. not good. He. I've not believed his character in anything he's ever done. It's nonsense. <laughs>
<laughs> like the, the only time he ever came close is when he played a retarded person. What about Milk, where he played uh, Harvey uh, That's Harvey That Milk. actually is one good one he yeah, did, yeah. I think he won that's, the Oscar for that's that. The only, that's, well, he won the Oscar because... He's won like three it's Oscars. Gay. Spicoli, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's, Spicoli, I mean, it's funny, but that's not great acting. That's, if that's great acting, then so is Keanu Reeves and Bill and Ted. Yeah. Okay? That's not great acting. Sean Penn is a total piece of shit. By the way, here's a little anecdote for you. Um, after the hurricanes in New Orleans, the big ones back in the day. Yeah, um, Katrina. People, yeah, some people from the 82nd Airborne got deployed down there. I personally was not one of them. I think it was our third or fourth brigade. I don't remember. Okay. And the stories I heard from them when they came back was that he was down there on a little fucking small fishing on boat. On a dinghy, yeah. On a, on a <laughs> sink, like an off, uh, offboard motor dinghy of yeah. some sort <laughs> with a fucking shotgun strapped around his uh back I heard and he that. was going out to rescue people and he uh got stuck himself and the and our my unit up there had to fucking divert resources to go pick his dumb ass up to bring him back <laughs> so if you need to know anything about sean penn that's it right that there. story is true by is, the way it, it and his, his little boat that he had for that excursion uh it also sank too at one point yeah and there's uh there was somebody had footage of him just getting water out of his own boat I, you know, Sean Penn is, is going full Sean Penn. Like, in I, the thin red line, did anybody think that Sean Penn was a fucking soldier? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. That movie bombed. It was so fucking bad. That, that movie, movie was bombs. bad, man. The, I, I guess the game, he was pretty good. And 21 Grams was terrible, though. That was a stupid fucking pointless movie, and his acting was bad. The game, he was good in, but he wasn't in it very much. He no. dies right at the beginning and then yeah. pops up at the end. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's like those, uh, the speech that he does in there is really good. That's probably the best work, I, in my opinion, he's done. Mystic River, dumb. Didn't make any sense. 21 Grams, dumb. <laughs> dumb. These movies are fucking terrible, man. Mystic River won the Oscar for Best I'm, Picture. Of course it did. Do you want to go down the list of Oscar winners and, and tell me which ones you liked and didn't like? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to be more in the latter category. Well, hang on. Look at, uh, yeah, look look at, at, look at Sean Penn. Pop put, that picture yeah, up on the screen there. Yeah. What a fucking clown. Look at him on that dinghy, dude. Just... Man, that's not even, I mean, it's, that's barely like yeah. a, uh, uh, it's not even a bass If boat. our booking agent uh, texted me right now and said, hey, Sean Penn wants to come on, <laughs> I'd be like, how much is he going to pay us? Because otherwise, he's never going to be on this fucking show. This guy is an absolute <laughs> ass clown. By the way, I don't know if you remember this, but he tied Madonna to a chair and fucking tortured her for three days. I, is it weird that I liked him for that? Well... Um, I that was my dream too. With and that's Madonna. where I got the uh, Madonna Shia, probably got lippy. That's you know? where I got the Shia LaBeouf reference. This is an, Sean Penn's another one of those cunts that spends uh, his entire career making money off violence on film. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And then tells people, "Oh, violence is bad, man." Yeah, violence is bad. He fucking he got El Chapo arrested. I'm surprised he's still alive. He got El Chapo arrested. Maybe he's not. Maybe that's a doppelganger. No, he's he. Sean Penn is. <laughs> Definitely a lot. Yeah, but you don't know that they didn't replace him with a Sean Penn lookalike the same way that Avril Lavigne got replaced. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but the, with the Shia LaBeouf thing here, the STD, it looks like it was herpes, by the way, because uh, she says he confessed about the STD and said he had a flare-up uh, but covered it with makeup. So he put a little uh, makeup on that ding-dong and, uh, and then went back in the Can you game. Even do that? I understand that. I've never seen herpes in person before. Can you just put fucking makeup on it? Makeup on it. Isn't it like a, it's bumps and shit. So yeah, it's like a bump. Like a little, yeah. little circle of bumps. If you were going to do it. Show us a dick with herpes on yeah, it. Yeah, can we see it? But don't, obviously don't put yeah. it on YouTube it's, here. It's, it's, it's red. It's a raised skin uh, with some like tiny oh, darker red bumps. that looks you can't, painful. You can't shit. hide that with makeup. There's no way. Yeah, right? you put a little makeup on that at night. You're not fine. a chance. God damn it, it's man. Like, I, we should not have pulled that up. Even, this was a mistake. It's bright red and little. There's no fucking Get it. Out of my face. No way. You can't. Jeez. I, I, and by the way, unless he texted it to her, then she can't prove it. So Oof. it's not going to go anywhere. Just saying. Get it out of my face. I think we're all good, Bob. Put up when something I, happier for Christ's sake. Yeah, just put up uh, Sean Penn beating Madonna. Like, I would yeah. rather watch that than uh, the herpes video. Christ. Um, but then, yeah, so she goes on and she says, I don't want any money here. Um, well, she wants money, but uh, she's saying she's not suing because it's the money, uh, but that she wants to 
warn other women that Shia LaBeouf hurts women. Oh, does anybody need to be warned that Shia LaBeouf's a fucking weirdo? <laughs> Watch Not, Honey Boy. At this point? I mean, what the fuck, man? All you have to do, he, they, they literally documented his entire <laughs> life where he played his own father in Honey Boy. That's like all these people who are... Uh, uh, and it shows how fucked up his childhood are was. Are collecting money to raise awareness for, for cancer. Like, oh, I'm pretty sure everybody's aware of cancer. Yeah. yeah. Maybe... It's out there. I'm not donating any more money to cancer, by the way. Okay. Not, not one fucking red penny, even if I get it. Why is that? Because we've donated gajillions of dollars and they haven't done shit. So where is... They haven't solved it yet? No. It, no. It, ultimately, right, if you go to a wishing well every day and drop a penny in and uh, the opposite of your wishes come true, uh -huh. which is what's happening because new cancers exist now. Sure. It's like... All right, I'm going to keep my pennies. Maybe just shove them up your ass. Yeah. That'd be a fucking better use of your time. At least you'll feel something. Well. And you can shit those pennies out later. Just don't get. Uh, dance, dance on cancer. We were, we were wondering for years yeah, what don't, it was. And don't get know. copper or nickel poisoning if you can help it. Because that's nickel poison will make you go blind. But uh, shove pennies and stuff up your ass. That's, yeah, you'll that's, be. It'll be better for you. This picture you've got pulled up, by the mm -hmm. way, is uh, when Sean Penn and Madonna got back together and went to dinner one night. Um, and then he came to one of her shows. I always wondered if he boned her afterwards, like what it would be like to go back 30 years later and just rebone your, your ex-wife from 30 years ago. Um, cause let's, I look, I hate Madonna. She's a ridiculous person. Sean Penn's a fucking ridiculous person, but you know, they're both single and they, they probably could still have a good bone sesh, right? It's probably a giant release. One would think, right? Yeah. She'd well, like, they're both hey. uh, crazy, and crazy people have better sex. So, yeah, you know, two crazy people at the same time. I don't know if, if it cancels each other out or if it's just the best thing possible. No idea. Yeah, that but was just a wrecked hotel room. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. It was on fire when they left. They, pff, man, there was a story about Rihanna back in the day where they were like, man, uh, there was a whole floor had called, and they thought someone was being murdered. And Rihanna answered the door buck naked and was just like, no, nah, I'm fucking in here. Slammed the door in the guy's face. And it was her who answered, not I, who knows who the dude was. And she just goes, no, nah, I'm fucking in here. And then the, they were like, okay, uh, moving on with your life um, or living your life. Hey, hey. nailed it, nailed it. Um, but yeah, with, uh, with Shia LaBeouf here, I'm not surprised by any of this. He did have a response pretty quickly. He just said, look, man, I'm in recovery. And uh, he goes, we should believe all women. And he goes, if she wants to share her story with the world, feel free. She's like, I, he goes, I disagree with some of the facts, but he goes, some of the shit I don't remember. Um, so that's you know. a, the wrong thing to say. Well, <laughs> you know, if, if you're the Shia LaBeouf, though, you can't. No, you can't say the don't remember part because that is not an excuse. In no, a law. he's saying that he doesn't remember because he was fucked up. Yeah, on, exactly. Like, alcohol and drugs. Right. So, so if you if 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 you get charged with uh, rape. No. And you say, well, I was blacked out. I don't know what happened. That's not an excuse. You get prosecuted that way. What he said, he said that in public. That's really fucked. So here, here's what he said. He goes, although, and this is verbatim, although many of these allegations are not true. I mean, some of them are. Right. Uh, I am not in the position to defend any of my actions. I owe these women the opportunity to air their statements publicly and accept accountability for the things that I have done. As someone in recovery... I have to face it almost. I have to face almost daily reminders of the things I did say and do when I was drinking. So basically, he's is, probably going to have to settle with her and, and call it a day here with this. That's an interesting uh, response. Really, isn't it? Like I've never heard that before. Of like, you know what? Many of the things she said uh, are untrue, but there was a few in there. Like which one? Like I you put about the dogs. Yeah, would have clarified on the dogs. <laughs> Yeah. I was just walking through the streets of Los Angeles shooting stray dogs. Just to feel like a murderer inside. It's like, uh, you've killed dogs and, mm -hmm. and people. Uh, is it the same? No. <laughs> no, I didn't feel anything when I killed the people. You know what I mean? Like I do, I remember the first dog we shot. Uh, when you get into a combat outpost, the medics, or the, I'm sorry, the veterinarians that come out there will test the local animals for certain types of diseases and if enough of them return the right kind of diseases you have to wipe them all out right? yeah so it's interesting you say that so i watched uh, chernobyl on hbo which is a fantastic uh miniseries and in there the guys who felt the worst about the job that they were doing with these soldiers who had to go out and kill all the dogs yeah, in chernobyl that was, that was rough i mean i think i think we killed like 43 of them that day just Shit. walking around the parking lot grabbing i mean it was fucked up and i i'll tell you i felt 
horrible. It's the worst thing I've ever had to do. But when I, you know, would shoot a person, the only thing I really felt was the recoil of my rifle. Right, right, right. right. So maybe, uh, he, I guess it's probably different for a guy like Shia LaBeouf. He just wanted to feel what it was like to take a life, I guess, maybe. He should go out and murder then. I mean, that's a, that's, he's a, if that's true and he did that, then that's, that means to me he's a sociopath, which means he shouldn't have weapons in the first place. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was weird that he didn't clarify that again. Yeah, yeah that's really the wonderful. one. I mean, look, in, in marketing, titties or, or, or football or manliness or trucks or, what, or any kind of cultural shit, nothing sells better than dogs. If you put a dog in an advertisement, even if it has no relation to what the fuck you're doing there, it increases your opportunity to make a sale because people love dogs, right? Yeah. And if you are a person and you don't love if you don't feel some connection to animals in the natural world, then there is something wrong with you, something deeply wrong with you. And if you think you can experience what it feels like to take a human life by taking an animal's life, then you're fucked, right? I mean, that's not great. Yeah, I mean, look, there's, there's, cra- there's more <laughs> stories that just keep pouring out like as the minutes go by here. So there's another one here that says uh, uh, Valentine's Day in 2019. Um, they were speeding in Los Angeles, and uh, Shia LaBeouf was driving. He was driving recklessly, and, uh, and she said that um, he removed his seatbelt and threatened to crash uh, in, until she professed her love for him, which, you know, it's kind of a Tuesday, I guess, uh, for old Shia. I mean, you're, you're afforded a certain amount of power, authority, and influence, and you have to use it as you see fit, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't get in the car with somebody you don't trust and make it to the destination you're going to. That's a good fucking idea. And what, what, did she drive, here's my real question. Did she get in a car with him again after that? Yes. Yeah. So uh, you, look, they dated for a while, man. Like, this wasn't just like a, a couple month relationship, but, yeah. uh, yeah, no. Well, people are pieces of shit. We all know that. Yeah, man. So it's not, you know, man, it's not uncommon, I guess, for two of them to get in the same room at the same time. Pretty much everybody I date's a piece of shit. So I wonder if they date other pieces of shit after. I don't really pay attention because they're pieces of shit. Right? Sure. But I would, it would be fun to see a reality show of how much bigger of a piece of shit your exes became after you. Because I don't know any of them that are doing well. So they interviewed the girl that, that was dating him before. Yeah. Um, and she said the exact same thing. She was like, dude, there was crazy He wouldn't stop stories. killing dogs. <laughs> well, not that part, but like. How funny would that be? If that, was, <laughs> if that was the same. I mean, it's not funny. It's obviously fucked up. But if that was the one thing that every girl said. Yeah, just wouldn't stop talking about killing dogs, man. It was really weird. Yeah. He yeah. kept asking me to hand, hand him the pistol he out had a of bunch the center of, console because he, he wanted of, to kill a stray dog. He had a bunch of Polaroids of stray dogs in his <laughs> glove compartment, but only the before picture. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Uh, yeah, he's obviously going to be a serial killer at some point. Probably. Probably. But, uh, you That's know, good. He, added, he did add at the end of this, look, I'm a sober member of a 12-step program, um, and I'm not cured of my PTSD and alcoholism. Uh, I'm, I'm maybe the PTSD is from that car accident where he almost lost his hand. Or it could be from his dad being a total piece of shit. Too. Yeah. Yeah. He was a child actor. So everything's on the table. I feel like. Oof. Uh, the, yeah. the, the dad beating the shit out of him in that hotel. Again, there's a, he did a whole movie on it. Like it was pretty gnarly. Uh, um, it's for free on Amazon prime. <laughs> Honey boy. This it's is great. A, another thing going on today here in texas actually oh yeah dude i'm i'm amped about this shit dude so a texas state lawmaker uh represent state representative kyle biederman uh he's republican obviously and represents uh san antonio that area yeah uh (laughs) he's he he wrote on facebook uh earlier this week the federal government is out of control and does not represent the values of texans that is why I'm committing to file. I'm committing to file. I, why I'm committing to file. That's <laughs> bad grammar, dude. Texas education. This is why I'm committing to file legislation this session that will allow a referendum to give Texans the vote. Uh, Texans a vote for the state of Texas to reassert its status as an independent nation. Yeah. Um, I, I'm all for it. And he added. I the, just moved here. I'm all in. Let's he added do it. the hashtag Texit, um, which is probably all over Twitter right now. Yeah, I so I, I read about the succession this morning, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude! It's about time." Yeah, you know, look, there's 31 million people I think that live in the state of Texas. It's big enough for a state. Let's or big do enough it. For a country. Let's do it. Let's have our own country, man. Um, I don't know if wheelchair is the guy to run it, but no, it's probably uh, McConaughey, right? Ah, uh, maybe. 
Maybe, but uh, the other top story that's, that's coming out of Texas, and this is a fun one for Wait, you and you, I. What did in you say? 30, there's 31 million people. Yeah, I heard there's 31 million people. That would put Texas at like number 45. They'd be the 45th biggest country in the world if they just seceded. It'd be great. Right? Let's yeah. do it. Um, by the way, so Hot, Hot Bob pulled it up. That was in 2019 for 29 million uh, mm. that there's there. Do you know that since then, uh, since 2019, 687,000 California re- residents have moved to Texas? Uh, I buy it. That's been the meme since I've lived here. I read that this morning and I was like, holy shit. Um, the other thing that I read that I was super amped about was uh, Sh- the Sheldon Adelson guy, who's like the biggest GOP mega donor there yeah. is. Um, so he's lobbying to bring he's casinos casino to guy. Texas. Yeah, man. And uh, <laughs> that would be the shit. So. Let's buckle up. We don't well, have any. There's no rivers here, right? Or you can't, or not that are big enough to put a rivers. The a Col- boat, the Colorado River, maybe the yeah. one that runs through downtown. I'm pretty sure it's pretty big. Yeah, is it? So, yeah. When it but off, for like, like for a river yeah. boat, when it's dammed off, it is. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I don't yeah. know if it's federal. Pro- maybe all, are all rivers federal? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, because I mean, like, the Colorado River is what carved out the Grand Canyon, right? It goes different like, across different the Colorado, different Colorado, Colorado River. River. Oh, is it yeah. really? Yeah. Why, why would there be two? Why would we allow that to happen? Who fucking knows? That's why Texas wants to secede, dude. Well, look, Sheldon, Sheldon Adelson's got about 12 seconds left to live, so he better hurry up. Yeah, with this shit. Have you seen old him lately? Shit. Like his, his skin is falling off. Yeah, he looks uh, like the last remaining uh, munchkin from uh, the, the fucking... There it is. Pop, yeah, pop that picture up. Oof. Doesn't he look like the last remaining munchkin I mean, from like, the uh, Wizard of Oz movies? He's 87 years old, man. Come on. And he's still dying his hair at 87. Yeah, can you imagine? Who are you fooling at that point? You know, that's how, Fein- that's how Feinstein stays in. I, yeah, she dies her hair too. So does Juliana. It's like, who are you fooling? You're fucking 80. Well, whatever, I think dude. maybe there's some correlation with uh, prolonged hair dye use and, and dementia because uh, Feinstein doesn't know where she is. Anymore. No, no. But She's good, not going to be around there. Good job by the Democrats uh, hiding her, right? Yeah. I mean, she's, she's a senator in, in the biggest state in the country, one of two of them. Yeah. And uh, has managed to fly under the radar with her, with her, uh, uh, Whatever you want to call it, I don't know if it's Alzheimer's Broom. or whatever, but she's been able to hide that shit for a couple of years now. It's good for her. No, no, it's bad good for, for her. her. It's also <laughs> bad for our country that the Democratic Party and her staff and everybody else in California has been allowing this woman who is losing her goddamn mind to continue being one of the two representatives of a state at the Senate level and the biggest state in the union. That's probably a problem. Like yes. just because we oh, want to yeah. hold on to that because we want to hold on to that seat and keep our party in power, we're going to have this person that is functionally retarded. Yeah. Stay there. You know what I mean? That's you know, fucking she's crazy. She's only 7 years older than Nancy Pelosi. So uh, Nancy still dies her shit, you know? She's still wearing sketchy shape-ups and the whole Nancy, thing. Nancy Coach 80. K. It's like yeah. a, it's a whole thing. Yeah. I don't want this to sound sexist, so I'm going to pose it to men and women. <laughs> women. Do you think Sheldon Adelson, Nancy Pelosi, uh, do they also dye the pubes? No, that's too much work. And are old dudes manscaping at all? Or is it just like, is it just crazy? It, I, I do believe they manscape. However, to dye your pubes would burn. That would burn well, your Well, don't you have skin, like dude. the Just For Men gel for mustaches? I mean, obviously, I don't use it because my whole fucking face is turning gray, but... Uh, there's gel for like your beard hair, which yeah. seems like it would work on your pubes too. It, it would, but it, it'll still burn. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go fucking full on red fire crotch. You should, but my pubes aren't long enough. I got to grow them out a little bit. Grow then them out I'll, a little bit. Then I'll dye them and then I'll shave them back down so you can. It just looks like fucking little uh, fire ants all over my fucking crotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Shia LaBeouf's dick, dude. Yeah, basically. I mean, it's yeah, gonna get look a like LaBeouf dick. Herps. Get a LaBeouf dick for Christmas. Can you get a fucking chemical peel on your dick and balls? I would imagine. Yeah, let's do that. I would imagine. Uh, you can do just, if you pay someone, they'll do just about anything you ask for in this life these days. Don't say genitals because it's going to assume you're a woman. I'm yeah. talking about, well, I, I guess a chemical peel is what butthole bleaching is. So, so one common approach to genital skin whitening is a chemical peel. It's a non-toxic, acidic chemical that when applied to the affected areas stimulates the top layers of the skin to peel and rejuvenate the underlying skin. The results of this... <laughs> Uh, are lightening up the, the treated right. genital skin. So this is really important. So, yes. Because we're all walking around. We have... I've got a pink sack. I've got good skin. Yeah. For, a, for an Irish dude, at least. Yeah. Like, I take care of my skin. I don't, I'm not fucking getting roasted in the sun and getting sunspots all the time. But my dick and balls look like they're 30 or 40 years older than me. Right? Really? For whatever reason, they're more tan, but they've never seen the sun ever. 
That's strange. Except for every morning I do stand out and stare at the sun and try to get an erection just like staring into the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. that's more, I'm like flexing on nature. That's not, I'm, it's nothing sexual. Of course, it. of course. And it's also like through a window, so I don't think UV rays are lighting my dick up or nothing. No, I don't, I don't think so. But um, I think the color of your skin on your balls and, uh, mm. and dick, um, <clears throat> it's got something to do with uh, uh, your dad and uh, your grandpa. Oh, maybe, yeah. Well, if you're out there in the have audience... You seen your, have you seen your dad? Did, did your penis look like your dad's? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it, unfortunately. I'll, I'll send Never, is he still alive? Uh, I hope not. Because <laughs> fuck him. Uh, but I'll send him a you up text sometime. <laughs> see what happens, right? You up? Yeah. Blast me with that dick, hombre. Here's, I want to see if it matches I, up to mine. Here's what I want to know uh, for you out there in the audience. Uh, tell me what particularly men. I want to know what your dick and balls look like compared to the rest of your skin. Is it darker, lighter? What, what's going on there? I want to know. So because it's kind of a meme that your dick looks older than the rest of your body. Balls are why. bright pink. Like uh, the, Maybe the it's because it gets is, big. Is like pink. the skin stretches out and goes back more. Maybe that yeah. has something to do with it. I don't know. It depends on how much. And so maybe if you're uh, uh, in, in impotent, it doesn't work that way. So, you know, if you're out there and you're Dick and balls are pink still. I think it's you probably just can't. Get I think wood. it is due to the stretching because where I was cirked too, like that's a pink, you know, mm -hmm. that's a pink inch right there, yeah. and then uh, and then the rest of that sack is bright pink. So I don't think my yeah my sack's not darker, but my dick is. Yeah, but it's not that much darker. But I'm pale as fuck. Sure, so sure. Any it's, amount of it's color definitely noticeable. Would be yeah. Well, it's, it's basically because of puberty. Okay. According to the research I found, but if it, if uh, certain darkening can also mean you have diabetes. Yeah, diabetes. Yeah, dude. Well, I definitely don't have diabetes. That I would be great, though, if you did, or gout. Just one of the old ones, you know, where you're just like, ah, oh, shit, I got gout, man, like an old king. Like uh, <laughs> like uh, King Henry the Eighth. you know? No, oh, I've got gout because I've been eating lobster all day. Uh, we, I, we've just been yammering, dude. We get some sponsors who pay for this weird-ass shit to be on the air. First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Here's the deal, kids. If you're a member of the military or first responder, a teacher, or work in the government, you get 30% off. Now, on the website, it says if you're a dummy like myself, you get 25% off the rest of this shit. However, when you check out, there is a promo code option to put in drinking bros. It's a little tiny secret, and that gets you 30% off for everyone. Don't tell anybody or tell everyone. Uh, they've got the finest uh, mattresses, <coughs> sheets, pillows, and adjustable bases there is. And uh, these are Shia, Shia proof. Um, so you cannot be uh, thrown through one of these things. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They, no. won't, uh, they won't shatter. So they're Shia proof. And, then, and <coughs> at all, as always, they got a 36 month pay as you go program, no interest at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. So all of those deals apply with that, and you can get the whole shit for like 35 bucks, yep. which is great. Uh, Speaking of beds, by the way, yeah. the people that uh, broke our couch. Yes. Fucking on it. Yeah. Uh, the woman reached out to me. Oh, she did? What'd she I, say? She apologized for, for breaking the couch and for running out because she had a flight to catch or some shit like that. And I was like, yeah, we don't really care about the couch. What's concerning to us is that no one was notified that fucking was going on. Sure. And that the act wasn't filmed and delivered to us. Yeah, because, in the proper format. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... No. no one cares if you fucking hear. No, no one cares no. if you break furniture. Well, no. If you break furniture just because you're a piece of shit, that might make me mad. But if you break it fucking, <laughs> no. That doesn't... You don't, you don't respond angrily to that. You clap. Yes. Right? You applaud them and you wish them the best. And I said back to her, I'm like, look, I'm just glad you got cream pie. Oh, is, is that what happened? Can we uh, verify that? I, I didn't know in advance, and I said it, and it wasn't uh, disputed. So, yes, I'm taking that as a yes. Were they dating? I have no idea. Man, if it was just two strangers cream pie oh, no, they on know like each a, other a Wednesday sure. afternoon. They know each other. Well, look, there's a lot of people that know each other. I'm I mean, pretty, you know, if you're just cream sure, yeah. pie though, on like a Wednesday afternoon in the, in, in the office here, because <coughs> that's when it was. Yeah, well, it's thir uh, Wednesday, yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, no, it was Thursday. Well, I noticed the couch was broken the following day. So Was it Wednesday? Who sure. knows? Who knows? I but, don't remember. Uh, e either way, it was... Uh, cream it, in. It was at like 1.30 in the afternoon. On a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, man, was she hot? Uh, I don't know. I actually never looked. 
Well, hit her back. Uh, let's get some pics of her. And I then, actually uh, didn't look at the pictures. Well, I told ask, her. I, ask her if she's got a picture of that cream pie. I told her next time, because the dude lives here, I think. Okay. I told her next time that... Uh, Local cream pie. Don't fucking ever get blasted in, in my proximity again without letting me watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully the next time it happens, at least we'll get some kind of evidence. Giorgio, can we uh, also drill a hole through one of those walls so we can have Just like put a little cameras uh, in all the rooms? Just put IP cameras in there I, and, and I get all the go, get all the good angles. I want to go old school. I want to I want to peep. I want to peep people. Yeah, I just want to like a. What a about? Little... I already put the cameras in the toilets. Oh yeah, so... well from facing upwards. First thing right, upwards, right? right. Yeah. Okay. Really? Uh, yeah. Do we have uh, any glory holes here too? We need. Oh, to, we do we need a drinking bros glory hole. Yeah, drinkingbrosgloryhole dot com. It will sell. Uh, uh, just a, it's a piece of plywood. With, yeah. with drinking bros wrap on it, and then there's this hole in the middle. Yeah, it's it's like a smaller version of a cornhole board. Yeah, and you just take it to work with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or we could just sell cornhole boards and say, hey man, you know, you can go ahead and put your dick through this as well. You know, it's a double feature type of deal. You ever put your dick through a cornhole? No, but we have some in the back office. I know. I'm thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, pop her on in. We're gonna be partnering up with them soon. By the way, Scott Quick and Brewbag. Brewbags. Still, yeah, I haven't. He's he's been calling me lately, and I haven't had a chance to get back with him. But yeah, we're gonna do that soon. We also have what's what, this is going out Wednesday, right? Uh, no, this is going out uh, <laughs> Sunday nights. I, t- I told you we record these on Fridays and get weird, dude. Mm. These are the weirdest shows ever. Uh, next up, um, we've got. D'Anthony Fields. Uh, mm. Fields is all in our feels, dude. I'm, I, I, maybe I took too much feels today. Uh, feels.com forward slash drinking bros. You're going to get 50% off your first order there. This Damn. is CBD. <laughs> I, man, just in time for Christmas. Uh, do it. That's F-E-A-L-S, by the way. So it's not feels like, um, you know, as long as they give you all the feels, it's F-E-A-L-S uh, dot com. This shit disappears so fast, man. Um, so Jesse and I were taking this. Mm-hmm. It's um, a little, they get the eyedroppers uh, full of CBD. Yeah. It is like the nicest fucking classiest CBD product, like uh, as far as like edibles and all that shit yeah. go. Like, look, our go-to is obviously Kill Cliff CBD for drinkables. Right. But this is just like, oh, hey, you want something <laughs> next to your nightstand before you go to bed? or just, Yeah, this uh, is a sublingual. And it's, I got to be honest, I've used a lot of these. Um, and most of them don't really absorb Right. In your mouth. It just like there's just an oily mess in your mouth afterwards, uh, which is it's like, I don't know, sucking off a guy from Texas or something. But uh, these actually seem I mean, like I don't when I put it under my tongue and let it sit, there, I don't even move it around. I just let it sit there for a while and yeah. it disappears. That's how it's supposed to work. Yes. Right. So it, these these work really well. If you're a person that doesn't drink a lot of uh, like carbonated beverages like Kill Cliff CBD, this is the best option to go with. Yeah, there's no high hangover <laughs> addiction like any of that shit. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's one of these things where uh, it reduces stress, anxiety and pain and sleeplessness and all that shit. So um, we vet these things beforehand just to make sure like everything's cool. Yeah, you know? I think we used this for three months before we ever advertised it. We did. We did. And uh, I, truthfully, man, because Jesse uses <laughs> CBD a lot. So um, she's like, she's on the feels tip because uh, I drink all the goddamn Kill Cliffs. Yeah. And uh, so she does this shit all the goddamn time and loves it. Um, go to uh, feels.com, F E A L S.com forward slash drinking bros today uh, and get 50% off your first order and free shipping monster deal there it's uh, feels.com slash drinking bros 50 percent off your first order and free shipping so if you just want to give it a gozies see if you like it first um 50 off is a monster mm-hmm. special next up we got harrys.com <laughs> boom it's right there on the desk uh can you go to a one Giorgio? look at this beep, beep. I, I said it would bring the the uh the bag in next time and i got it here so here's the deal man uh you get a shaver Boom, you get some shaving cream. You get razors. All that shit in a bag for $3. That's it. Um, and the razors are really fucking nice. Like, they're rubber grip and all that shit. Um, Harry's does not fuck around with these goddamn things, dude. I got everything in this fucking bag, man. Uh, and they've even got a little re- re- replacement razor in there. $3. That's it. So what they're basically doing is giving this to you for free. Yep. Uh, so you can test out their product and see if you love it. And then if not, well... Then fuck off, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's a pretty good sign. To yeah, yeah. If somebody's marketing is just to give you their product for free, there's no gimmick or anything. It's like, yeah. here, just try it. You'll like it. We're pretty sure. So, you know, we, they, they know the amount of people 
that will like it. So any new you know I mean? U.S. customers, yes, uh, can redeem the Harry's trial sets at harrys.com. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash drinking bros for three dollars. Uh, so you get a five blade razor um, and then you get uh, the weighted ergonomic handle. That's what the rubberized one that I was talking about. Uh, you obviously get the uh, foaming shave gel and aloe and a, and a travel cover to protect your blade when you're on the go because this shit lasts a long time. Go to harrys.com forward slash drinking bros. Try it for three bucks. That's it. If you don't like it, fuck. I think they even let you return it too <laughs> if you don't like it for three dollars. Yeah, they it's get ridiculous. a money back guarantee. <clears throat> Five blade razor, weighted ergonomic handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel cover. Yeah, That's dude, a lot could of you, stuff for three bucks. Could you imagine, man, if, so, if you sent this back and you were like, "I want my three dollars back"? I can't imagine it. Actually, I can. It, it makes me think of a John Cusack movie. Actually, <laughs> I want my two dollars. Yeah, remember that yeah. was, what was which movie was that? Um, it's the one where he was in the skiing. He was on the K. He's on the K two man. Yeah, it's got uh, it's it's him and uh, uh, that dude from Revenge of the Nerds, a curly haired guy. Can't oh yeah, remember. Booger. Yeah, Booger. Booger's in it, man. Better off dead. Yeah, that's better it. off dead. Hilarious. He was that's one of the greatest movies of and all time. And then that it's a little fucking like I don't know. 10 year old paper boy that's chasing him around demanding two dollars then he ends I up want my two dollars he ends up skiing off the edge of a mountain yeah <laughs> off, off of a cliff movie. yeah it's hilarious yeah. Uh, um, uh and we got a little breaking news here uh lowell wayne the lowellist uh he just pled guilty in federal courts to illegally possessing a loaded weapon while traveling on that private jet to miami <laughs> I, this is exactly what i thought it was the feds say they got an anonymous tip like what was your tip that it's Lil Wayne mm -hmm. on a fucking private jet? Um, such bullshit. But uh, the interesting part of this, because I, I know we talked about the story a few weeks ago. Um, they're now saying what it was. Uh, Dan, you'll, you'll be able to tell me how dope this is. Police said it was a gold plated Remington 1911, 45 cal. Okay. Stupid. Uh, it was loaded with six rounds of ammunition. Uh, they also found a bag there that, that uh, was containing personal use uh, for, of uh, amounts of cocaine, mm -hmm. ecstasy, and oxys. So, look, Lil Wayne's living his best life there. Um, Imagine something, and you have it for personal use, and it's illegal. Think about that in principle. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you've, you possess something for personal use. And uh, there's no evidence that it's going to hurt other people. And that is illegal and you go to jail for it. Yeah. So he's facing up to 10 years in prison right now, but they're saying... He's not going to get shit. Yeah. They said he's likely to get leniency because uh, he pleaded guilty immediately. Uh, and in exchange, the government agreed to recommend a lighter sentence. Like he did spend a year in jail for a gun charge in, uh, uh, what was that, Arizona? <laughs> I think he ended up doing a year there. So. Yeah, he and uh, Martha Stewart are both felons. Uh, who knows, man? Um, Everybody forgets Martha Stewart's a felon. Yeah, yeah, she was, dude. She was, she was arrested uh, and spent spent some time up in the. Pokey. I like that. Uh, I like that meme, and it's a picture of her and Snoop Dogg, and it's like one of these is a whatever, and the other one's a felon. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the the <laughs> hilarious part is um, with. Uh, Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg, they had their own reality show on mm -hmm. VH1 after that, after that meme went around. And uh, I think it was a cooking show where he just got high and made a bunch of weird shit all day. Yeah. That sounds with awesome. her. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, I think it went like three or four seasons, actually. Yeah, it was kind of a hit. Um, kind of crazy, man. So, you know, shit. Um, 76ers, by the way. Uh, Meek Mill. Is in the uh, in the news here. Him and Michael Rubin uh, created a two million dollar scholarship fund to aid Philly kids. So that could have gone to you, Dan. This is for you. This is your Philly story of the day. I'm kind of over Michael Rubin. Are you? Yeah, I fucking hate that guy. What's his story in real life? He started Fanatics. Um, pretty much just you know, I, I hate Fanatics too. They make the worst shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've never bought anything from there, I don't think. I have. I've bought a couple things there. It's hit and miss. He's also a Patriots fan. <laughs> is he really? Yeah. Oh, is that what this is all about? Yeesh. No. Keep your politics out of this. Yeah, right? the Patriots are terrible, too, at least. The Patriots and the Eagles are just both awful. I think he also owns the New Jersey Devils, the hockey team. Yeah, the New Jersey Devils. Yeah. 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 I'm just not a fan. No. He freed Meek. That's all that's, I guess, he, he played his part. Yeah, he played his part. Now I'm kind of over it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, at least they're doing some good shit. You know? 
Hmm. Two million for kids up in Philly. That could have that could have helped you. Where'd you go to college? Where'd I go to college? Yeah. UCF. Yeah. Imagine if you would have gotten that two million. Probably could've, wouldn't have had to go to a school like that. Could have gone to Nova. <laughs> yeah. <Could've>, no, <laughs> you don't want to go to Nova. Nova's like sixty K a year. It's expensive. Yeah, I'm sh- uh I'd have debt until I was about 80. Yeah, so. everybody does. Yeah. So it was Meek Mill and this guy that did it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Two million. Now, what's Meek Mill worth, do you think? Not, not as much. Not as, mu- not not as much definitely as Not as think, much man. as that guy, for sure. If he would have hung in there with uh, homegirl, uh, Nicki Minaj, he should have knocked her up and called it a day. 20 mil, maybe. 20, 20, 20 mil. 20 million. 20 million. Meek Mill is worth 20 million. Sweet. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot more than I thought. I would have said four, maybe. Three or four. Michael, from, from Michael, Michael Rubin is worth three and a half billion dollars. Now, I'm sure he gives to a lot of other charities, but what, what the fuck is two million bucks, dude? Two million dollars, man, for, for local Philly kids, though, is a lot. You is know? It, is yeah, it? Not yeah. Really. How much does it cost to put one child through 12 years of school? Uh, if it's a public school, about 80 bucks. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Disney's uh, uh, in the news. We were talking about this, too, uh, a, a couple weeks ago with the, the death of movie theaters and Warner Brothers. Uh, Disney has announced that half of its slate next year will, will go directly <coughs> to Disney Plus and not into theaters. And then immediately afterwards, AMC Theaters uh, is trying to restructure mm-hmm. to avoid bankruptcy. But they don't think they're going to make it through January. So uh, that is pretty much the death knell for, uh, for movie theaters and that's it. You got Warner Brothers, you got, you got Disney, and now you got uh, uh, Pixar. Or, yeah, uh, Pixar's out of it and somebody else. Mm. I forget. But uh, here was the shocking number in that fucking call. 86.8 million subscribers to Disney Plus already. I mean, that's half of Netflix in less than two years, man. Mm. That's <laughs> impressive. Do you guys watch that fucking Star Wars show? Yeah, the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Yeah, that's their only, like actual product that they're putting out right now yeah so the hilarious thing is dan and i go to bill burr uh a week ago and i because fr- I, I don't watch this shit i don't watch any star wars bullshit and uh i forgot that bill burr is in the mandalorian and he was talking about it on stage and he was like man these, these fucking star wars people you know they they want you to know about everything that goes on in the whole goddamn star wars universe i, I don't fucking know about any of this shit i'm just a fucking actor out there trying to collect a check you know, they want to ask me about the fucking Dagobah system. I laughed my fucking dick and balls. It was a good rant. Because that's exactly what I thought Bill Burr was doing in that series, was just collecting a paycheck. Like, in no way, shape, or form did I ever think that Bill Burr gave a shit about well, Star Wars. Well, get ready. He might have his own show because Disney Plus just announced that they're doing like 15 Star Wars shows, 10 are. Marvel shows. Yep. Yes. Um, yeah, they have nothing but marvel and he's Star coming Wars. back in the mandalorian this season they, they teased him coming back yeah like, yeah like he's on the hunt from right now well uh, dude every time he's on one of the shows they he trends on twitter and everything look well, I, I love bill burr i think it's great um but i think it's even greater that he just went on and just talked shit openly on stage a week ago and just said he's a uh, fucking star wars <laughs> like well it's a paycheck i don't give a fuck about star wars uh it's great um but then the kardashians inked a huge deal with disney and they're going to start launching new content on there in 2021. Great. So. Can't wait. Jeez, I mean, that's the man. whole subscriber base. Uh, it, I cannot tell you how excited my basic white wife was to get Disney+. Plus. Yes. Yeah. That's it. That's it. We're all done. We, I, we have it because we have kids. And so I feel like everybody with a kid automatically had to get Disney+. Plus and uh, the hype is real, man. I, yeah. They have the catalog. The back they, catalog, they, yeah. The back catalog is so fucking strong. And they have so the only good strong. Christmas movies. Like any good Christmas movies on Disney Plus. What Die Hard's on there? Yeah, is Die Hard on there? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I what so. Christmas movies? You're talking about the old shitty claymation and stop no, motion, no, like no. Home, the Home Alone. Home Alone. And oh, shit I see. Like that. Yeah, is that is Home Alone is not a Christmas movie. That's a movie about a child murdering two adults, right? Yeah, yeah. that's just Baby Die Hard. Yeah, did it's they, Baby what, Die Hard. Did yeah. they die? No, unfortunately not. Anybody know? Uh, okay. But you've, you've have you seen? Uh, God, what is the name of that movie uh, with Elliot Page? Um, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's what he wants to be. <laughs> that was the last thing I expected to come out of your mouth today. No, hard. Who's that movie with Elliot Page? Are you, <laughs> oh, you mean Ellen Page? Yeah. We're, yeah, it's now Elliot. That's right. I it's called Hard that. Candy. Remember that? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> with Elliot Page. Yeah. Do they Patrick, go back in and change the credits now for oh, all yeah. these movies? Yeah. Like, so hey man, it's Elliot. I'm looking at IMDb right now. And it's actually pull up IMDb. Is it on there? Yeah. This is a really crazy change. movie. I had to look it up. Hard yeah. Candy? Oh, dude. Oh, dude, so. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, yeah it's, Patrick, it's an old one. Patrick it's Wilson's one. in it. It's, it's good. So scroll down. Is it Elliot Page now on there on IMDb now? There you go. There, there, right there. Shut the fuck up, dude. So she it. had her publicist went in and changed it, man. Yeah. Elliot Page. Well, somebody had to go in and change it in a lot of spots, I suppose. <laughs> but it says as Ellen Page. I don't know what that means. Uh, in the movie. So credit wise. No, I, no, I got, I got yeah. that, but yeah. uh, it. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> I don't get, anyways, this movie's super fucked up. Uh, imagine not knowing let's say you didn't hear this story because this story went kind of under the radar for me like i caught it like <laughs> right before we went on air and i was like oh shit elliot page right i got a nice chuckle out of it but we didn't really delve into it i kind of feel like she had a press conference to announce that she was uh he and ellen page or elliot page now and everyone's like all right cool yep moving on yeah, they just nobody swivel, cared. They yeah. Swivel that... their chair. it's like somebody uh standing up in your uh queue in your office in, in the cubicles and be like hey i've got an announcement and they're like Good to see you. You're yeah. Like, what the fuck? Shut up. The only thing no one that really cares. Affects is the people who write Umbrella Academy because I think she plays, you know, a female character, obviously. So uh, now they're going to change that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm sure they'll write it in. Yeah. Well, she gets her, her pussy shot off. And yeah. they were like, well, the only thing we have left is a dick. <laughs> we, can't, we can't possibly give you a slit and a hole. We've got to sew a dick on you. There's a guy digging through like a fucking big bin full of parts. He's like, yep. we ain't got no pussies in here. <laughs> And then his dumb ass assist is like, oh, let's just, we'll just use a dick. Where's that dick at, and man? And he's like fucking stapling a dick onto her. It's yeah. Like, and, he, and then it like pans up. It's like one of those reveal scenes. It pans up and then there's a name tag and it says El- Ellen. And he's like, Shh, Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> just puts it on there. Yep. And then she's like, bing. And then we all blow our brains out <laughs> right at the end of that. I think would be a good way to end that. Elliot Page, Jesus dude. Uh, I, I'm waiting for the Billy Elliot meme where it's just her, you know, uh, as a little... A little, little man, a little tiny man. Billy I wonder what kind of Elliot. dick she's going to get. We were talking about the dick skin earlier. I don't how, think how most, big do you think she's going? Most with that? Uh, transgendered men don't get fake dicks because they don't. What? Do, they don't do anything. Like they don't get hard, and you can't fuck with them. So what's the point? No, like, you, don't you feel can it, get right? hard and fuck with them. Giorgio, yeah. you're our, you're our resident. No, uh, I'm going I'm to side with Dan on this one. I think it's much more the uh, other way around. I know a lot of trans men, they don't do that. Most for, I mean, there's people that they, do. They, they definitely strap, they strap up, yeah, but that's, sh- that's, that's, that's a whole different thing. Yeah. Also, trans women usually don't cut their dicks off. So that's, really, that's yeah. mo- most of them don't. Yeah. That's um, true. by the way, if you want to, the, the best one to ever do it, by the way, the goat of, uh, of, Ch- of switching was Chaz Bono, by the way, Chaz Bono was a lady and then now has a full fucking beard, like a Dan beard. I don't know, man. Have you seen, the, Google uh, Chaz Bono. I don't know if uh, Hot Bob. I don't know if you're allowed to say Lady Boy anymore. I don't know if that's off limits. No, the, you definitely because can't. there's actually no. I think the word a, Lady Boy appears on bathrooms in some places. Yeah, right? it's a technical term yeah. in Thailand. Yeah, yeah so look it's at, look at Chaz's beard, dude. But Lady Boys. I mean, there's some hot, hot, fucking very hot Lady Boys dicks over there. I mean, at least from a distance. Chaz Bono has a better beard than you. No, you can't grow it up here. I cut to there was a go go to the other one, hot Bob. The other it was another picture, one down. Yeah, that top one up there, uh, top, top, uh, top left. There we go. What's that one? Yeah, that's like pat- ah. that's really patchy. That's a, that's a neck beard. He just yeah. doesn't have a chin. But that was maybe that was the beginning of the fucking trans shit before the rest of it. Kicked well, it didn't in, you know? get any better. He still got a neck beard. Nah, Look at a, him without the beard, no it's chin. A nice beard. So it just looks like a good beard because it's growing down here, but his here is up here. Yeah, po- so, po- yeah pull, pull that up. picture up. Look at Chaz Bono walking around. That's a, I mean, that's the best transition of all time. That really looks like a, like a full dude. Like, I wouldn't know. Would never guess. No. If I was sitting there having bars or, or uh, beers at the bar with, with Homeboy here, I'd be like, oh, shit. Who are you? Oh, you're Chaz Bono. Fuck, dude. You were a lady. Yeah, I think if we're, we're at the point now in, in our culture where nobody seems to give a shit about this, so can, can we at least do something to help them get better surgery and, and look like he looks great to be passed. Well, I know that's a good example. That's what I'm saying. Most, Chaz is the goat. dude. Most examples are bad. So can we, uh, I, I don't think the government should be paying for people's fucking surgeries of any kind, but the get, goat of transgender. Maybe we can invest in making the surgeries better somehow. Just invest in the technology. You know what I mean? Like that surgery they did in team America world police where they glued pubes, to homeboy's faces. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Painted his, I mean, he's a, a doll, obviously. <laughs> we got to be able to figure that out for people. Or I guess uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s sur- surgery 
in uh in uh tropic thunder uh, right? that was a great one that might be a good one as well I mean, we're talking transracial not transgender here but yes yeah. basically the same uh, thing. i feel like same it's as much the upkeep like it's not that like the surgery is mm. terrible so much as he, he's got the money to like keep it going well <laughs> right. for months and years at a time yeah that's probably true uh last but not least here i want to talk about uh yang gang dude um yang andrew yang is is thinking about running for new york city mayor he's told all of his his bros and his homies and uh, the top <laughs> officials in new york city that he wants to do it uh good thing or a bad thing de blasio is the worst so it can't be worse than i that. think trump should run for mayor of new york <sighs> why not hillary thought about do it you know, you know how that, fucking right? funny that would be hillary thought about it trump could could trump win mayor of new york city no right if he couldn't win the goddamn white house he had There's no 75 way. million votes. Yeah, but not, uh, not, not, not in, in New fucking York. the boroughs. Yeah, not in New York. Um, no, I, yeah. He, I, I wonder who else is running, to be honest. I mean, obviously, de Blasio is going to run again. Yeah, he's going to run again. But if he ran against Yang, I think he'd get housed. Maybe. I mean, there's probably going to, if Yang runs. Great. Will any Will any re- major Republican even consider running? Like, did they even see a path to victory there? I mean, we're... Somebody always runs in New York, but they obviously just don't. Well, Giuliani won. Fuck, man. Um uh, who else? Was Bloomberg, Bloomberg a Republican when he ran, or was he a Democrat? Um, I th- he was an independent, I he think. Was, I believe he was, I'll check it. I think he was a Republican. Maybe the Could first be. term, or maybe when he was uh, state representative, he was a Republican, then he switched at some point. He definitely switched at some point. Trans party. Yeah, he's, he's trans. A, yeah, he's a trans, trans party, party figure yeah. where he just uh, switched <clears throat> the parties on us. Um, I don't know. Man, I'm going to think. Of, I'm gonna be thinking about Elliot Page all night long. No. Well, good for you. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> the, one of the first things that... Uh, Elliot Page ever did was uh, a short uh, run of guest spots on Trailer Park Boys in season two. Are you kidding? Yeah, she played Jim Leahy's daughter. Shit. Yep. So who knows? I, now, go. now we're gonna have to to go back and look at this and uh, and figure out what went wrong. Do you think she got incepted? Yeah, because she was on that movie. Yeah, she was in that too. So uh, the Bloomberg shit's really weird, by the way. He had been a lifelong Democrat, mm-hmm. decided to run as a, for mayor on a Republican t- uh, ticket after Giuliani's term limit was up. Like, he couldn't, re- you can only be mayor for two consecutive terms right. in New York. Oh, I didn't know that. So mm-hmm. Bloomberg switched to Republican, ran one, and then got reelected as a Republican. And then I think sometime in there, in the second term, switched again. He switched to independent, though, not Democrat, right? I think, I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's kind of a weird problem. I mean, obviously he did it. It is. I, I know. I know. Hillary was thinking about running after she lost in 2016. Yeah, he became an independent in mm. 2007. No shit. And he went to Johns Hopkins University, which we discovered Johns Hopkins was not as nice a man as we thought he was. No, apparently not at all. He apparently owned a bunch of people. Yeah. Which is why we're here to promote Josh Hopkins University. <laughs> His brother. Josh Hopkins didn't own one goddamn slave. No. You understand? We didn't teach anybody anything. Nope. And Jared's one of the fucking professors, so that's not great. But yeah. Everything else about at least we didn't own slaves, bitch. Yeah, exactly. That's we're gonna start a marketing campaign against them. Like, what would you rather be associated with? A good education in slavery or us? Yeah. Because we don't really have anything to offer. We are who we are, but at least we're not slave owners. And at Josh Hopkins, we'll give you the finest education that you never knew you needed. The only textbook is mine, and it's how to drink and do drugs like an adult. Because <laughs> that's really what college is all about. You learn how to it organize is. materials, how to look shit up, how to write papers and cite resources and do drugs and drink like an adult. Yeah. That's all you learn there. That's and true. How, uh, how to get rid of... I don't know what. Yeah, a herpes. Uh, you got to put some makeup on it. We learned that from Shia yeah. today. It says Bloomberg, by the way, was he self funded? That the total was nine hundred thirty five million for that campaign for for president. My God, man, what a waste of money! Almost a billion dollars on nothing, just absolutely nothing, for him to walk on that stage one time and get house. Who was it that fucking destroyed him? It was uh, Warren Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, she just absolutely crushed him in that. Uh, the, I mean, he was done after that. For a billion dollars to walk on stage and get beat by Pocahontas. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, it's the point in the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week. This one was submitted by Ian Weeks uh, from New Hampshire. He's been an OG drinking bro forever, and he's nominating Colleen Weeks. Reason for the nomination, it says, uh, look, you two read my original post on the Hunter Biden episode, and that shit was taken down. My wife is dope as fuck, and she deserves recognition. She is a goddamn Irish fairy princess and literally saved my life. She's gorgeous and intelligent, and she could debate Dan until the the cows come home. Please give her the recognition she deserves and make her drinking bro of the week. 
Uh, and God bless, or Odin bless, he says. He, he believes in Odin instead of God, and I like that. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Odin bless Ross and Dan uh, for all religion is uh, dumb, and he says nothing really matters. Uh, nothing matters. Yeah, he's right about uh, so that. By the way, Ian I got some bad news cheers. Cheers. On, on the cow thing. They're not coming home because Shia LaBeouf shot them. <laughs> so, you know, if you see a dead cow on the side of the road, it's probably Shia LaBeouf has been in the area at some point. It's been in the area. Rate the show a five star on iTunes and leave a, a, a review. That's what helps move us up the charts. It's, it's not the amount of listeners and any of that bullshit. It's simply just these fucking reviews on iTunes. And, uh, and also, we will close out the show with, uh, we had a celebrity death last night that touched millions. And uh, it was Zeus Tiny Lister. Debo. AKA Debo <clears throat> from uh, Friday Movies. He was 62 years old and uh, passed away in an apartment in Marina Del Rey. Too young. Yeah. So we lose a lot of the... Uh... The good ones. The young black dudes, um, like fucking Patrice O'Neal is dead. Yeah. Goddamn. Who, who's? Uh, Debo. The guy that was in Green Mile. What the fuck's his name? I can't think of his name. Oh, shake my hair, balls. Michael Clark Duncan. <laughs> yeah, Michael Clark Duncan. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. We got we to gotta get our shit together here. We got we, we, we to figure it out. We all, Vern Troyer, too, man. We lost him. Is he? Yeah. Is he no, he was white. He was white. Bernie, yeah. Bernie Mac as well died yeah. at, like, at 52 or some shit like yeah. that. We got to fucking... You gotta you know, fi- we got to figure it out. How old was Vern Troyer at, uh, at death, too? He was in his 40s, I think. Yeah. It was weird, too. When Bernie Mac died, Oof. he was also in a movie as a corpse, Death at a Funeral. Oh, wow. So really? Maybe he was method acting. Yeah. yeah was- Try that out, Shia. Vern Troyer was 49. <laughs> That's probably longer than most uh, dwarf people. Live. Well, what are they called? He, apparently, his cause of death is suicide by alcohol poisoning. That's not real. How do you know? You That's- can't do that. You can't. How you could can't you? How could you prove that you were going to kill yourself? Maybe. That way? Maybe it's like a homicide. Like everything's a homicide, but he not necessarily a murder. Yeah. Boozed, I don't know, maybe. He boozed religiously. I just like that his height is listed at two two foot eight. Um, that's uh, well. That's what it was, right? <laughs> it is it's just weird, man. Like, are you are, even do, in death? They're like, yeah. Hey, remember, remember, Vern. He was two eight. Are you supposed to refer to these folks as little people? Like any, because there's dwarfism and there's other shit, right? So how do, how do I, what am I supposed to do here? A little person is what he preferred. LP? Yeah, LP. Uh, the M word. Um, a lot of people uh, are against the M word for midget. Oh, somebody told me not to say the R word the other day, and I said, shut up. Oh, retarded? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, just shut up. Yeah. I'm going to say what I want, and if you don't like it, don't listen. Now, the M word, I will stop you from saying. What, midget? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Is that uh, offensive? Why would that be offensive? Wasn't it a medical it's term? It's dwarf, little person, or a uh, person of short stature. Oh my god! That's what they prefer to be called. Person of short yeah. stature. Yeah. Isn't there, short offensive? I do, then I do think midget <laughs> might have been like a weird, like circus term. Really? Like not? <laughs> yeah. Like a pre, like a medical term, but before they knew anything about medicine. Right. There's also like a period was just like a chick being hysterical type. I don't know. <laughs> there's also an urban legend in Philadelphia that there's a midgetville. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I be- I believe in that. You I know, believe in that. I love, midgets stick together in packs, man. Yeah, yeah, they do. The, the Little People Network. Uh, remember uh, TLC? No, well, that too, but also uh, uh, Life's Too Short on uh, HBO. Remember yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Warwick. Great, yeah, Warwick uh, Davis. Sh- speaking amazing. of which, they're remaking Willow, dude. Oh, really? And he's going to be in it. Well, so. I mean, he looks exactly the same yeah, as he yeah, did looks, 40 years yeah. ago. Which is Midgets uh, don't age, man. No, they don't age. They no. don't really age that well. No, and they definitely, definitely stick together. Well, they're magical. They are. Yes. <laughs> should we call this episode the M word? Um, I, I feel that we should almost uh, out of respect. Dude, uh, he's 50. He's only 50 years old. He looks great. Willow's only 50. I would have guessed like 65. Same here. How old was he in fucking Willow? Shit. He must have been. I like was 85. 19. So he was, that was 30 years. He was like 20. Yeah, 1920. Holy shit. When it was That's recorded. Amazing. When it was uh, filmed, I mean. Oh, I was 88. So he was in 80s. his early 20s. Whatever, man. Some of them are problematic. No. Like, wait. Wee Man. He's from three six. He was, he was 17 when Willow shot. Oh, wow. really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Good for him. Good for him. He's had a good career. Yeah, I wonder and, if he fucking boned on that set. You know, because like, there is a thing with extras where you know who the lead is. And it's like, I bet you somebody threw Willow some, some pussy on that movie. Probably. Yeah. But he's three six. I mean, he could fucking dunk on that other guy. I've, sh- I've shot four different movies with midgets, and mm-hmm. they get fucking housed every single time. Range 15. Range 15, man. They get fucked up. I dude. mean, what are your options, really? Because you have such a small body, you can't drink out of a tiny cup because that would just be insult to injury, right? 
Yeah. Like if somebody yeah. just handed you like a thimble full of whiskey or something, you'd be like, get the fuck out of here, man. That would be a deeply insulting. So your only option as a little person is to take the normal size glass and you want to drink at a rate commensurate with everybody else. And all of a sudden you're fucked. Yeah. So um, if you look I'm up, proud of these guys for being alcoholics for so long. That's very impressive. I am too. There was one on range 15. I fucking forgot his name. He was oh, he's in, the uh, guy Pirates from of the Caribbean. Yeah. Damn it, man. Um, my memory's just, I'm, it's gone these days. Uh, just absolutely gone. I forget his name, but we worked with him a couple days. Martin Kleba. That's it, Martin Kleba. Um, He's got a big old his, hog too. Put his uh, yeah, put his picture up on the screen. I'm, we're gonna give his hog some love. Big love old here. hog, man. There it is. Hell yeah. Uh, scroll down. There he is. Pop pop up uh, Martin Kleba on the on the screen there. Boom. Take your time though, because we're gonna live forever. Yeah. Clever, I mean, dude. he looks like a fucking dirt bag. Doesn't he? Look at those <laughs> eyes. That dude looks like he's got drugs on him. Yeah. He just looks like a tiny How, uh, Howie Mandel. Uh, yeah, I can see that for sure. No, um, like if he was full size, you would assume he was a cocaine dealer. Full size. Right. Yes, absolutely. Um, but he, he's his, his girlfriend, like, or I think it's his wife, actually, is super tall and uh, she was hot. And he drove like a Trans Am. And every day on set, he would peel out in that goddamn thing. <laughs> and, he, and he wore this leather jacket like, uh, to set every day. Like, um, it was fucking hilarious. He was that a funny good. dude, man. Um, but uh, yeah, all those, all those dudes get just rocked. Absolutely fucking rocked. And he's got a fucking hog on him, dude. He's got a huge dick on him. Um, that's the thing that people don't realize about midgets. They have huge penises. I've seen three midget penises, and they're all massive. Well, I mean, not everything's small, right? Like the teeth, the eyes, the dick. Small teeth would be weird. What are you talking like baby teeth? Yeah, I was saying like the teeth are normal human size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The eye, eyeballs, like the literal eyeballs, are probably normal human size. I don't know anybody who still has their ba- all their baby teeth. That would be really fucking <laughs> yeah, weird, huh, Bob. Uh, if, they, if you just had all your baby teeth. Oh, hey, what's what's up, man? Did you go out with that girl last night? Yeah, it was it was weird, man. I took her to dinner and she had all her baby teeth still. Uh, they haven't fallen out. out. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> She was eating mashed potatoes all night. She was worried about losing her teeth during the date. Ah, did you fuck her? Well, I mean, she had all her baby teeth, so. Yeah. Uh, do you have any ones on you to put underneath mm. her pillow in case a couple fell out? Um, these shows always get weird on Friday, Stan, you know? Here we are. Yeah. Face well, to face. A couple of silver spoons, you and I. We're all going to hell. <laughs> Especially after this yeah. episode. The M word. Mm. Oh, God. Uh, for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. <laughs>